Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe. And I'm Tammy. And this episode we're visiting Red Top Mountain in Georgia. And we decided to stop off at Bucky's and get one of those brisket sandwiches that everyone talks about. And look who we ran into, Rhonda and Kevin. You'll recognize them from some of our other videos. They hit the road this morning for their fall trip to Georgia. We also had the pleasure to meet Diana and John, friends of Rhonda and Kevin's. We look forward to camping with you in the future. Seen your videos. Oh, I'm John. Well, I just, I just videoed you pulled up. Yeah. I'm Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you guys were coming with us. Um, huh? 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 As we got closer to Red Top Mountain State Park, uh, the roads became more windy and a little more hilly, so we ended up using the engine brake to maintain a safe speed upon our arrival to the park. <laughs> and when you see this bridge as you're getting ready to cross over Altoona Lake, you know you have arrived at the park. And here's our wonderful site, site number eight, a beautiful pull through. Which had full hookup, 50 amp electric, water, and sewer. Also a standalone charcoal grill, fire pit, and picnic table. Red Top Mountain is best known for the 12,000 acre Lake Altoona, which is ideal for swimming, water skiing, and fishing. Red Top Mountain is also the hiker's haven. More than 15 miles of trails wind through the forested park, providing opportunities for exercise and nature photography. There's also a short paved trail behind the park office, which is suitable for wheelchairs and strollers, welcoming guests to explore a reconstructed 1860s homestead. And here's some really great shots of what we captured while visiting this park. If you were to take a hiking trail that leads to an abandoned campground from the 50s, would you want to go do that? Stay tuned, we're going to show you some really cool stuff coming up ahead. We're on a trail called Iron Hill Trail and it'll lead to that campground.
All right, 3.9 miles, Iron Hill Trail. Success, one in the books. <laughs> Found some interesting artifacts of the former campground. Uh, we're gonna make a separate video of just that campground, so if you wanna see a little more detail of that, stay tuned for that. We'll post it right after this uh, video. All right, it's time to show you around the campground so you'll know what to expect when you come here. Starting off with sites 1 through 12, this is a special loop that is designed just for big rigs because the remainder of the campground is not so friendly for big rigs as the turns and trees are very tight. So I highly recommend site 1 through 12 if you have a big rig. Like what you see in the video? Give the video a thumbs up. Help other folks find this part too. The park also has a total of four comfort stations throughout the park.
And also included is a courtesy dump station and is big enough for two rigs at a time. And here's something new to our videos, a drive through of the campground. So the campground consists of a total of 93 campsites to choose from. There are 20 cottages scattered throughout the lakefront. There are six camping yurts. There are seven picnic shelters to, for reservation, two group shelters, and even an event room that seats up to 30 people. There is a private marina, and then there is also two boat ramps, two boat docks. The park also has three playgrounds. But one of the main attractions at this park is the really nice sandy beach with tons of day use picnic tables and grills for that area. Well, we sure like visiting this park, and we think you would too. We just want to say you should consider subscribing to our channel. You never know. We just may be guilty of adding to your bucket list. And as always, thanks for watching. Chew for the road.